And finally, uh, our last class for the week of September uh, 14th to 18th, uh, final math class. So this recording will be brief, but uh, then you'll be doing the review to be handed in for marks. Of course, you can still ask questions. That's fine. If you have any questions, that is not a problem. So, uh, page 25 is where you'll find the Assess Your Understanding, page 25. You will do 3, 4, 7, and 8, and they'll be worth 15 marks. So, let's go over those exercises. Number 3, take 80 feet and convert it into yards and feet. Right, so there's three feet and a yard. So some of this will turn into yards and then whatever's left over will be feet. Just want to quickly respond to the text here. All right, uh, miles into yards. So you check your chart, see how many yards are in a mile. Do that conversion. Uh, two yards and one foot into inches. So I would first of all turn these yards into feet, then add the one foot on, and then turn the whole thing into inches. That's how I would do that one. Number four, Lindsay is 51 inches tall. Sydney is 3 feet 11 inches tall. Who is shorter? How do you know? I would take his height, turn the whole thing into inches. You've already got 11 inches here, so turn these feet into inches. Then you simply compare the two. Moving right along down here, converting measurements, similar to really to what you did uh, up above, just a step further. Now we're converting between the two systems. Three meters to yards and the nearest foot. Okay, so no, 13 meters. So convert that into yards and then whatever amount is left over will of course be feet. Okay, so 13 meters into yards and feet. Four feet into centimeters. Check again, use that conversion chart in your notebook for each of these six and then the last one a word problem a thin strip of wood laminate is to be glued to the edges of a table the length required is equal to the perimeter of the table which has dimensions 30 centimeters by 115 centimeters the laminate can only be bought in lengths of whole numbers of feet so you do not have to buy a whole foot at a time what length of laminate is needed uh, allow me to make a sketch first So you've got your table, the long side is 115, the short side is 30, but this is the perimeter. So there's a 30 here and 115 here. So add up all these numbers, that's going to be the amount of laminate in centimeters, but you're buying the laminate in feet. So take the number that you get from adding all of this up, 30, 30, 115, 115, take those numbers, add them up, get your total, and then, of course, convert that into feet. Yeah. And again, this whole thing is worth uh, 15 marks, and you can still ask questions. All right, this is the final math recording for this week. When you do these things is up to you, whether you do them in the morning, when you always have time to do it, either until 1, 9, 15, when your class starts, or on the other morning where... There's an even longer period where you don't have classes. It's up to you where you do these math classes. They are on the schedule on odd days, but really, um, that is your decision. Okay? Click. That's it.